<laughs> Vlogmas day five. It's December 5th. It's Saturday. I have been awake. It's like 8.30 right now, but I've been awake since five. I didn't sleep very well. So I finally got out of bed, made myself some tea, <laughs> took some pills, made myself some oatmeal, which I need to eat breakfast because my husband's getting up and then I need to grab a shower because we have to go to the Toyota dealership to get the airbag recall part fixed on his car. So, <sighs> so sleepy today. dealership. My husband is dropping off the car so it'll be a few minutes and then I am in the other car so I can drive him back home. We don't want to wait all day <clears throat> so that they can fix whatever part needs to be fixed from their recall. I feel a little better after my shower but I definitely think I'm gonna go back to sleep when I get home. It might be one of those days. I'm not feeling so happy with the world and with being awake right now. Hi friends! <laughs> We just did something crazy. It may look to you like I'm just driving in a car like I always do when I'm talking to you, but I did take a nap and then we went back to the Toyota dealership to get my husband's car who had the airbag fixed, the airbag part fixed. And we did something crazy, which we have been talking about for years, literally. And that is we bought a car. <laughs> so we have been meaning to buy a car for two years probably when we first got married I had a 1992 Buick Regal that had over 300,000 miles on it and the insurance was going to be so expensive and it, the car was basically dead so my husband had a 2008 Toyota Corolla and I had my 1992 Buick then we switched my Buick because it was basically dead for a 2005 Ford Focus which I've had for nine years it is practically dead. It is very unreliable. It half the time does not start. The air conditioning only works when it feels like it. The tires leak air, like it's just super unreliable. And so I've been driving my husband's same 2008 Toyota to work and back because he works from home. But that car has, you know, a couple hundred thousand miles on it now. So we have been talking about getting rid of the Ford for quite some time because I don't really want to put a baby in that car. It's small, it's loud, it sounds like an airplane, it has electrical problems, and it doesn't start all the time, so you can't really take it anywhere. So they had a, we've been talking about buying a Camry, which will fit the car seat better for, like I said, probably almost two years now. And they had a deal on one. I mean, we've been saving for one, and then of course, We've been to a couple dealerships on and off. We've been to a couple places on and off and just never found like the right price for the right car. We found a good price on one a year ago, but it was an old rental car and you should never buy a used rental car. Those things are awful. So then 2020 happened, so we kind of put everything on hold, but they had one here that is a 2018 Toyota Camry. Has about 75,000 miles on it. Certainly the fanciest and newest car we've ever owned and it I'm driving in it that took gosh like two and a half hours to buy a car but yeah it takes a lot of haggling and a lot of arguing and I hate buying cars but we got a car and our salesperson the finance person was ridiculous of course but the salesperson was super nice and I really really liked him and tomorrow we'll put the car seat from Josiah's Toyota into this car and it's big enough to actually fit the car seat. The Toyota, his Toyota fits the car seat, but the seat, like you push it all the way as far as you can and he's still scrunched up because there's just not enough room. So this one has a little more room, gets good gas mileage and it's a Toyota, so it's gonna last. They were like, when do you think you'll be trading this one in? And I was like, we're not trading this one. In. We're gonna drive it till it dies, obviously. <laughs> we're gonna drive it until it dies like we do all of our cars. And I love 
my husband's Toyota Corolla. We have had it, like I said, the whole time we've been married. It has been the most reliable, delightful car. <laughs> it's got some body issues now, like just from being really old, but it's such a good car. It has never stranded us anywhere. We've just kept up with maintenance. So I'm totally sold on Toyotas. And now we're gonna have, we weren't even planning on looking <laughs> until maybe like after the baby was born or January when they're trying to get rid of old, car, you know, old models. So it's the newest car I've ever owned. <laughs> and it's new to me. It's definitely still a used car, but it's, I, it's got stuff like a backup camera. A backup camera I've never used such a thing in my life I feel very fancy so that is what we've spent all day Saturday doing <laughs> which was completely unexpected but the price was cheaper than I've ever seen for one of these so we got an amazing deal and I'm really 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 thrilled about it <laughs> so I'm gonna drive the rest of the way home and then we have to get some food because that took so long that I am so hungry I'm gonna chew my arm off <laughs> 